Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter. And there's some big news from Unity recently. And with the announcement that they're fully supporting Switch 2 at launch, and they've come out to say that they'll be launching their very own title, which will be the first time Unity has ever designed and developed a game end to end with collaboration from Konami, which will appear directly on the Switch 2 on launch day. And this game will be called Survival Kids, and it will be a four player local or co op exploration game where you'll be able to chop, fish, craft, and solve puzzles to try and make your way off the island. To really help spur the engine forward and make sure all the tooling that they develop for the future has been battle tested and will be best because they know in-house where the problems will arise and how to fix it and it will hopefully help you in the long run. Let me know your comments down below and you can tell me if you think this will restore some faith in Unity, especially with the poor decisions that had been made in recent times. So I'll go into more details about the game and their support for Switch 2. If we look back historically with Unity, they did have a really promising project in Gigaya, which was unfortunately cancelled around the 2022 mark and people were really, really disappointed. And I felt like for the longest time, Unity have needed to battle this disappointment and really prove to set out by getting rid of the runtime fees, by getting rid of the disappointment little by little, and with a product fully launched and people can have it in the hands to play, proves that they themselves are going to make their own products and they'll show people that you can do it too and they're dedicated to improving all the features. So originally in this article here, it comes from the support for targeting Switch 2 for launch. They do say the Switch 2 support will be available in Unity 6 with an additional add-on if you're approved as a Nintendo developer. And Matt Bromberg himself, the CEO, did say that they've, they've tested Unity to make sure it supports the Switch 2 with hands-on development with a day one title and the feedback they've received through the development process helps to further enhance Unity to make sure as best it can be to produce the games for different gaming systems. And because Unity spans across 20 different platforms, they want Unity to be the focal point to release on any of these. And the things that they focused on because this title will launch as a URP specific title is rendering and performance optimization. So you'll be able to scale with their newest features like spatial temporal anti-aliasing, GPU resident draw, and different things which all support on Switch 2, which will be able to maximize performance. End-to-end -end multiplayer solutions, which will be all of their suite of tools that they've got in that and extended documentation to be able to develop for Switch 2 as well. Along with the core features like the newer input system, build profiles, incremental build profiles, and the new capabilities that the Switch 2 allows. Now, if you do check out the business wire and you'll be able to see some footage in the background of the trailer, they're going to be announcing the game called Survival Kids in partnership with Konami. And as the vice president of the Unity Engine product management, Adam Smith says, as I've already stated, it aligns with the current shift in games development approach to ensure that the tooling is first class in terms of being able to create beautiful yet games that run smoothly and it'll be the first game that represents unity that is designed from the end-to-end -end collaboration with a publisher and something that will launch to the public and survival kids itself does use a range of unity capabilities from the core engine features like urp and netcode and services like lobby and relay and this game will be fully featured in a four player co-op local and online setting where you'll be tasked to work together to try and make your way off the island through puzzles crafting and solving whatever it has to offer and maybe just maybe because unity does have so much cross-platform support we might well see this game on other platforms too and i'll put all the details to these articles in the description and the survival kids trailer so you can check it all out and make the decision for yourself. So I do think with all this coming together, I think it's a big step by Unity to quash any of the negativity and things around Unity to continue to make strides to show people that Unity have got a track record of bringing out games, tools, and other things, and they're never really seeing the light of day or never seeing full advancement with the technology. But with this, if they continue to support it, maybe have content which supports the development of this game and show people how it was created, I think it will be a good learning tool for the development team, for the community, and to make strides to make sure that Unity are on this path to make sure that it's always a developer-first approach to how the engine moves forward. So hopefully, with the future of Unity 6, is only going to be a bright one, but you can let me know down below. If you do like this video, make sure you like and subscribe because it would really help me out. Big thank you to all my patrons. 
and everybody who watches the video, massive thank you to Peter Steiner, very shoot them, party of 10, for their amazing support, and thank you to everybody else who comes to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.